What's going on, YouTube? Adrian Zalas, man. One Adrian here, coming at you guys here with another video. Coming at you guys here with an in-person autograph recap of the Atlanta Braves. Um, did extremely well. Did not get Freddie Freeman, but he only signed like three autographs the whole series, and it was really hard to get him. So, yeah, he was really tough. He's really tough, actually. He he didn't really come out at all for batting practice. Um, so yeah. Currently watching the U.S. get spanked uh, by Argentina in soccer. Um, not a U.S. fan. Sorry, guys. I just the thing that bugs me, just really quick, the thing that bugs me about the U.S. soccer team is that it produces a lot of bandwagon fans. Like, and I know there might be some of you out there, but I just I, I'm not a fan of that. Sorry, guys. Just wanted to get that out there because um, that's what really annoys me about U.S. soccer in general. But um. Yeah, we'll get into the recap, guys. Again, the Braves, basically a triple A team. Got almost everybody except for Freeman, uh, Tyler Flowers, Pierzynski. Uh, didn't get Tehran, unfortunately. I always, always miss him. Have so much bad luck with him. Um, got got him once, like, <laughs> in the past, like, three years. Um, he does sign. He just I always miss him. So... Yeah, first off, though, a couple of set cards that I have not shown, I believe, if I did. Sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, for the 15 Heritage Minor League set. First one is Nick Wells. A buddy of mine that grabs Minor Leagues helped me out. So, nice ones there. And Jacob Ga uh, Gatewood. Jake Gatewood. Nice ones. I forgot to mention the back. It's actually part of the recap, Mr. Daniel Castro. Uh, Braves player, of course. Very nice. This came out sick. Love this. My friends make these. My uh, friend actually makes these uh, customs, and um, they they're awesome. So he put the Viva Mexico right there. He is Mexican, so that's really cool, Mr. Daniel Castro. Uh, first off, few Padres here that I got during this series. Uh, first off, Fernando Rodney, very cool guy. He's been really chill with me this year, so signs a lot. Actually signed that one vertically, which is weird from him. Next off, 404 from Mr. Tyson Ross. Very nice cards in here, guys. Um, 10, 2010 Ginter rookie card. 2015 Ginter. 2015 Gypsy Queen. And the 2016 Gypsy Queen. Very nice. So all of them came out nice. Very nice guy, Mr. Tyson Ross. Talked to him a little bit, which is cool. Hopefully he gets back uh, healthy soon. Next up, this guy was really cool, Mr. Chase Darno, uh, Travis Darno's brother. Very nice. This 2012 Heritage. Next up, I got five from Casey Kelly. All very nice cards as well. Nice minor, minor league Heritage in there, 2012. 2011 minor league heritage CPK he's too perp but my friend helped me out of a few or on one occasion he did so it was a few occasions and then my friend helped me out on one so a nice Ginter here 2014 and probably my favorite one here the 2013 G uh, Gypsy Queen rookie card very nice card uh, next off this is very nice right here got Aaron Blair on this card uh, I had already sent to Ben Lively right there uh, TTM and I got Aaron Blair on it Blair is super nice like he was already gonna go uh, do his warm-ups and we called him over and he came right over to us he came back inside the dugout to like the little corner of the dugout and signed for us it was it was awesome he's such a nice guy Next off here, we got Malik Smith. Actually, signed this one nice. Um, he usually, like, signs across the whole card. On this, I've seen it before. And, um, yeah, signed it very nicely right there. So, that was nice. Uh, next off, got Matt Whistler on a couple. First one here is a Tops update or Tops Heritage update. Very nice. I think he's going to be pretty decent once he gets it together a little bit. Uh... Still think he needs developing time. Honestly, um, he's still pretty young, so 
Yeah, and then the set card, of course, right here. Very nice, 15 Heritage Meyer League, of course. Right, next, I've got Kelly Johnson on a couple. Very nice, 2011 Gypsy Queen with the Diamondbacks. Uh, good memories of this guy with the Diamondbacks. Um, you know, back in the day when they had like the most strikeouts ever, or something like with Mark Reynolds, Adam Dunn, him, Chris Young, Upton. This is a super sick card right here for Mr. Kelly Johnson. Bowman Heritage rookie card. So his first Bowman Heritage. <laughs> Um, 2001, holy shit, 2001 Bowman Heritage, guys, right here, came out beautiful, this came out awesome, uh, next out, very nice here, nice old school Ginters of Mr. Jeff Francoeur, nice 08, and uh, 07, very nice, came out nice, I was like, hey, Jeff, nice to see you, and he's like, you too, <laughs> that was kind of weird. Um, very nice guy, Mr. Frank Queer. Uh, last couple of cards here before we get into the, some of the set cards. Uh, all these Biscaino, super tough autograph to get, guys. Actually, not even joking. This guy is legitimately very tough to get. So very happy to get him. Um, on the last day, we're in, usually on early days, the pitchers will warm up and stuff. And he came out. I I called him in Spanish, and then he said he would do it. But after uh, he was done throwing, he came over to some Braves fans, and he was kind of like looking for me, saw me, and yeah, signed my card. He remembered me, so that was cool. Nice sixteen Gypsy Queen right there. Next next up, this guy's pretty cool, Mr. Ender Inciarte. Came out super nice. He was kind of ignoring me for a bit, but then I called him in Spanish, and he's like. Yeah, no problem. And he even thanked me for uh, for asking him, which was cool. So yeah, cool one right there. And they're in CR10. Next off, Mr. Bud Norris on a nice 2012 Gypsy Queen. So yeah, recently I've been focusing a lot about on uh, Gypsy Queens and Ginters. Um, just really like the cards in general. So that's been my main focus when I graph uh, cards-wise. Well, I don't need the cards now anyway, so yeah. And on to the side cards, you guys. First off, we got Mr. Bud Norris. Very nice. Uh, this guy was a Padre for a bit, but he was tough, man, as a Padre. He was still tough this series. He would not do it outside, only inside the stadium. And, um, yeah. Pretty happy to get that one for the set. Right, next off, this guy's been tough for me as well. I, I've literally seen him, like, walk past me, ignored me completely inside the stadium. So, it was cool to get him, Mr. Jim Johnson, for the set. So I've seen this guy a few times with the Braves and the Dodgers, and I still couldn't get him last year. I saw him twice in one year, couldn't get him. Or well, not twice, like a few times, because, you know, Dodgers, but yeah. Next up, this guy's tough as well, Mr. Alexi Ogando. This guy is known to be pretty tough, so very nice one right there. If you guys remember when he was actually a decent player. <laughs> Pretty decent player back in the day, actually. Had a lot of hype around him. I was one of those people that thought he was going to be, you know, pretty decent. But he was decent for a while, but then just kind of fell off. Happy to get that one for the set. And the last one here, Mr. Nick Markakis. One of the better players that he got. Um, so, yeah. Nice 15 Gypsy Queen right there. Came out very nice in the Braves uniform. Like the way that turned out. And um, this is a redo. The one I had was in black Sharpie, now it's in blue. And um, yeah, it came out very nice, actually. So yeah, guys, that is all. Thank you all for watching. That is the Braves recap. Uh, what is coming soon? I believe Marlins is coming soon. That's uh, Nationals. I only did one day, and I did not do well. So <laughs> that's going to be mixed in with something else. And um, also graph like a huge person, not sports related, but like a huge, huge person that is coming out um, soon. I'll try to make a video on that. But yeah, guys, uh, I'll probably make that after the baseball recaps. But yeah, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment. That is all. Uh, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Peace.